right, guys. Next up, I've got a little, um, you know, like a little companion building to the uh, to the coffin factory uh, from the last episode, and this is uh, Hagrid's nursery. So, kind of like a another another little build that's inspired by some of the Halloween pieces and little village pieces that I've owned over the years. But this particular build really um, it screams out to have glass wall pieces because if you've ever seen the building that i'm actually talking about um down in here where you see um the vines and all that they um it, it's actually all glassed in and there's a little door right here that says please step in and um, they've kind of got like the monster vines and the, the creatures inside there um it's kind of got like a domed glass roof so in, in order to tell the story with the building and not having not having glass pieces really at my disposal, um, I kind of had to uh, had to come up with the story of like Hagrid kind of stands up on top of the building here, um, on top of her nursery, and um, you've got the the rats and, and the rocking chair. But I think it would have looked a lot cooler if I would have been able to glass it in. And, um, you know, kind of had the misters going here and could have made it really kind of like bright on the like bright yellow, kind of like a menacing looking yellow inside there. But, you know, don't have that yet. Um, hopefully that's something uh, that they're working on. And, um, yeah, we'll we'll get around to that. But this is this is uh, what I've come up with so far for Hagrid's nursery. So still got a little bit to do. Got to actually put some signage over here. Um, you know, uh, straighten up the back of the building a little bit. Um, this is one of those, uh, one of those buildings kind of with a little side entrance and, um, you know, just, um, not, not totally as I envisioned it or what I wanted it to be with, but with just without those, without the glass, um, I just, I can't, um, can't tell the total story like I'd like to. And plus two, um, I experimented a little bit. With the with with the heads, um, like the 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 uh, the head eating plants, but they come out really Mario looking and um, just didn't didn't fit the whole style of uh, of you know these two buildings in general. Like um, so, kind of had to just um, kind of had to skip out on that whole design part of it. But I think still with the uh, with the skeleton guys in there and the spiders and they're kind of trapped in all the vines. Um, I think it still worked out pretty cool and you know aesthetically it's it's um, it fit what I was trying to do post not being able to um, to, to use glass pieces so um, really really kind of needed that to to get to get to where I wanted to go on this but nonetheless I think it still come out as a cool building um, you know, pulling stuff off like this, I think um, a year ago, I probably wouldn't have been able to, not just with not having the spooky pack, obviously, but just um, my style of design and stuff, I think is, is has grown, and um, it's opened the door for me to, uh, to, to, to stretch it out, and, um, and luckily, you guys are more accepting when I go out on a limb, and, um, I don't want to say it's kind of like I have to be careful with what I put out, but I know what you guys have come to, like, you guys have come to expect this type of build, so I don't want to just, it's kind of harder to just um, throw junk out there. Like, if, like, if this is, like, people come to expect, like, oh, this is S. Dan Wolf, let's see, let's see what he's built. So, in, in some ways, it's a good thing, because you guys hold me to a certain, uh, a certain standard of builds, and in another way, it kind of, um, kind of hampers me a little bit as far as the experiment side, but, um, you know, I, I think, um, really that, that more goes to, like, the dark ride aspect of things. I know that I uh, definitely think I need more more practice on the dark ride. Been working on some stuff behind the scenes, but um, there's just a uh, you know a level of design that you guys come to expect from me. So when I put this stuff out, I want it to be on par with that, and um, you know just like not look rushed and um, and and give you guys a good story to. Uh, to follow so anyways yeah i'm kind of working behind the scenes got some different ideas for a spooky dark ride 
um, really wanted to get some of this dark ride and this spooky stuff out of my system before the Frontier Expo. So that's why I've kind of been working on a lot of these buildings because who knows what we're going to have with the anniversary update that may take my attention off something that I would have built and may might be a long time if ever I go back and uh, and actually try to design it because we've moved on to maybe brand new stuff that they're um, you know that they're hopefully going to be coming out with so yeah I've definitely got a spooky mindset right now so um yeah, just working on some of this stuff. Hopefully get to enter the competition. Um, got some got some things worked out. I think I've got a pretty cool haunted house worked up, um, especially with these new pieces out. I actually even thought about going back and using the haunted house that I first used the, uh, the transparent glass um, experiment out on, and especially now that we have the... Uh, the lit windows here might go back and, and use that and enter that in. So, um, yeah, we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. So anyways, guys, I'll jump on out of here. Give me a thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe for more planet coaster spookiness. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming out, hanging out with me and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. See ya. Mike. Hey. Hey.